The Popular Front of Latvia Latvian, Front was a political organization in Latvia in the late 1980s and early 1990s which led Latvia to its independence from the Soviet Union. It was similar to the Popular Front of Estonia and the Sajudis movement in Lithuania. Its newspaper was Atmoda, Awakening, CF, Latvian National Awakening, printed in the Latvian and Russian languages during 1989-1992. Historic background Latvia, Estonia and Lithuania were occupied by the Soviet Union in 1940. Almost immediately an armed resistance started, which under the name of Forest Brothers continued until 1991. A chance to regain independence came in 1980s when Soviet Premier Mikhail Gorbachev attempted to reform the Soviet Union. In particular, Gorbachev's glasnost policy allowed more freedom of speech in the Soviet Union than ever before. Beginning in 1986, Latvians began to organize around specific causes. One of the first successes in challenging Moscow was the stoppage of the building of the fourth hydroelectric dam near Dogovpils on the Dagava, the main river in Latvia. This protest inspired the formation of the Environmental Protection Club, which saw the environmentally driven protests as a channel through which to challenge the Soviet regime more broadly. Latvia's independence movement started with small demonstrations for independence and human rights in 1986. The first demonstrations, organized by Helsinki 86, were, however, suppressed by the government of Latvian SSR. The breaking point came in summer 1988. Many prominent Latvians publicly announced their support for increased autonomy for Latvia. Latvian newspapers started writing about aspects of Latvian history which had been banned during the Soviet period for example, how Latvia had been occupied in 1940. The flag of Latvia which had been banned during the Soviet period was brought back. To summarize, a strong resurgence of Latvian national identity had started. Popular Front from 1988 to 1990 This resurgence created several political organizations devoted to increased autonomy or independence for Latvia. The LTF was the biggest organization. It was founded on 9 October 1988. Originally, Tata's Front took a moderate position, requesting wide autonomy for Latvia but stopping short of calling for independence. Tata's Front was supported by moderate members of the leadership of the Latvian SSR including head of state Anatolis Gorbanovs, but opposed by hard-line communists. Tata's Front quickly grew to 250,000 members. Its goal was to create a wide coalition devoted to autonomy or independence of Latvia. As 48% of Latvia's population was ethnically non-Latvian mostly people who had moved to Latvia from other parts of the Soviet Union, Tata's Front reached out to ethnic minorities. In particular, it advocated school education in languages other than Latvian and Russian to attract the support of non-Russian minorities. At the same time, Tata's Front worked with more radical Latvian movements advocating the independence of Latvia. Gradually, the overall opinion within Tata's Front shifted from the autonomy of Latvia within the Soviet Union to full independence. On 31 May 1989, it announced that the government of the Soviet Union had not been sympathetic enough to Latvia gaining autonomy and an independent Latvia had become the only option. In 1989 and 1990, the first free elections were held in Latvia since Carlos Ulmanis's coup d'état in 1934. The most important were the elections to the Supreme Soviet, the Parliament of the Latvian SSR, on 18 March 1990. A pro-independence coalition, led by Tata's Front, won 138 out of 201 seats in the Supreme Soviet, more than the two-thirds majority needed to amend the constitution. Topic. Tata's Front from 1990 to 1993 After the 1990 elections, Tata's Front became the governing party in Latvia. On 4 May 1990, the first law passed by the new Supreme Soviet declared Latvia's intention to restore independence. Dinis Ivans, the chairman of Tata's Front, became the deputy speaker of parliament and his deputy, Ivers Godmanis, became the prime minister. Many other members of Tata's Front took key positions in the government of Latvia. From May 1990 to August 1991, Latvia went through a tense period. 
Its independence was not recognized by the government of the Soviet Union and a military crackdown threatened by the Soviet government was generally feared. Several Soviet tanks appeared on the bank of the Dagava River in the Riga Old Town. Television networks broadcast footage of rifle shots being exchanged at night in Old Town on the evening of 13 January 1991. On the streets unarmed people built barricades and spent days and nights guarding them, singing Latvian songs. Because of this the independence movement is now known as the Singing Revolution. The independence of Latvia was finally recognized after the failure of the Soviet putsch in August 1991. The main political goal of Tata's front was thus achieved. It now faced a more difficult task, reforming the socialist economy of Latvia into a free market system. The economic transition was very difficult, with the GDP of Latvia having from 1990 to 1993. With the economy in severe decline, the popularity of Prime Minister Godmanis crashed. Many politicians left Tata's front and formed new political parties to avoid being associated with the unpopular government. The end of Tata's front In June 1993, Latvia held the first elections of the parliament since the restoration of independence. Weakened by economic difficulties and defections of many politicians, Tata's front received just 2.62% of the popular vote and gained no seats in the new parliament. It attempted to reinvent itself as a Christian Democratic Party and changed its name to Kristiga Tata's Partia Christian People's Party, but without much success. Eventually, it merged with another party, Kristigi Demokratiska Savianiba Christian Democratic Union. The People's Front finally dissolved itself on 9 October 1999 during its 9th Congress. <laughs> Legacy All or almost all the political goals of Tata's front have been achieved. Latvia is now an independent country, with Latvian as the only official language. Its economy and politics, formerly socialist and oriented towards the Soviet Union, is now free market and European oriented. While Tata's front itself ceased to exist during the economic difficulties of the mid-1990s, many of its former activists have important roles in today's Latvia. The Museum of the Popular Front of Latvia is located in its former offices, which are owned by the state, in Vetspilsetas IELA 1315 in Riga. See also BPF Party Democratic Russia Latvian Independence Movement People's Movement of Ukraine Popular Front of Estonia Popular Front of Moldova Sajudis References, <references>